everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Eleutheria and I hope that you are all having an amazing day. Um, I wanted to say I'm sorry if the background noise is quite a lot, but I don't know, my neighborhood is trying to play um, an instrument all day long and again all day long I've been trying to record this video, but I don't think that you will stop making his practice, so let's just do this. Alright, the course that I'll be reviewing today is called Practical JavaScript and it's completely free. There is also a premium membership, but in order to take this one, you first have to complete the practical JavaScript. So let's first watch um, about the instructor, which is Gordon Zhu. He is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. He knows what he's talking about. He is very knowledgeable. He will make you understand everything. He will go into depth. He will tell you every detail that you have to know. Uh, by no means he is boring or anything like that. I think that he is a very good instructor. So there are a few things here about him and uh, let's just read some of them. It says, before starting watching code, uh, in 2014 I was at Google where I developed AngularJS applications for the engineering educational team. During my four years at Google I also worked as a product manager on maps and did marketing for AdWords and Tokbe. Okay, a lot of things. I think that we are all impressed. And uh, yeah, the second paragraph says I love teaching even more than programming and started way back in high school when I walked around the public library asking total strangers if I could tutor their kids. Yes, it worked. So if you replace the library with the internet, I guess I haven't changed much since then. Okay, that guy also has some humor and I like that. Uh, so now I have clicked inside the curriculum. Here you can see all the lessons, there are quite a few of them, I think that there are more than 12 or 13 sections. Uh, the first one is just an introduction and the teacher will uh, tell a little bit about what are we going to watch and the most important thing is that we we're going to build a to-do list. So this course is about building a to-do list. I know it may can it may sound a little bit boring, but I will assure you that it's not. You will learn a lot of things and one of the most basic things that you will learn is using the console. I actually started using the console after watching this particular course. Before that, of course, I had watched several other courses and by several other uh, instructors and maybe they were amazing, but this was the first one that made me actually use the console. And if you're a developer, either front end or back end, I'm I'm sure that you know the importance of the console. Uh, when I say console, I mean the developer tools in general. Uh, this is the to-do list and also this is how the course will look like for you if you are logged in. So you have the previous lecture and then the, the other lecture, the next lecture. And in the left part, you will be able to see all the courses or all the lecture and you can jump in them whenever you feel like it. Right. So the speaker uh, speaks perfectly good English. You will have no problem at all understanding him. Uh, he has made a beautiful UI design for his website. If you have any question, you can do that here and this will open um, a GitHub page. You can ask him whatever you may like, but if you have something more general, uh, then you should go to the Facebook group. I don't think that you have anything to ask because um, it's a very detailed course, but of course if you have something then both me and the instructor I think will encourage you to go and ask something. Now let's see the to-do list. I'm on to do mvc.com examples vanilla gs and here is the to-do list that you are going to build. Let's write something. Alright, and maybe then this and this, okay. So you have all active and completed. Now if I click on home or if I click on cheese, we will see the difference. So you'll have now the active 
the completed and the clear completed. All right. So let's go back to all and I'm going also to delete this. This is the app that you're going to build. I'm telling you that you will learn a lot of things. It is a great course. All right. So all in all, if you are a beginner, if you are a total beginner, I would suggest you to take this course. The first thing that you will going to see is that um, this course is about beginners. But I think that even if you are quite more advanced and you don't feel very comfortable, then again, I would suggest you to take this course. This is my opinion and I will leave in the description box the link for this course. If you like this channel, if you like me, if you like this kind of videos, please share and subscribe. Have an awesome, amazing day and see you in the next one. Bye!